Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Moe WB channel. I will be presenting the news in a new way. Don't forget that you can turn on the caption and you can read the description. Let's begin. Van de Beek has played 90 minutes for Everton and has been praised by Lampard after Everton win. Donny had already accumulated more Premier League minutes in an Everton shirt than for Manchester United this season. Everton won the game 3-0, with Van de Beek helping his side to keep a clean sheet. Frank Lampard told his post-match press conference, I thought Donny was great. To play like that at home, his calmness, work rate and intelligence was great. I brought him here because of his talents, his intelligence and work ethic, but he matched the other players and is calm on the ball. Van de Beek completed 34 of 38 pass attempts and created one goal scoring opportunity. He had made 10 ball recoveries and won 4 ground duels and 3 aerial duels, being dispossessed only twice. Edinson Cavani wants La Liga move this summer. The 34-year-old's contract with Manchester United is due to expire at the end of June, and he is widely expected to leave Old Trafford on a free transfer. The Uruguay international has strongly been linked with a return to South America, with a number of clubs set to be keen to secure his signature on a free transfer. However, according to Italian journalist Fabrizio Romano, Cavani's priority is to move to Spain, as he wants to experience La Liga football before the end of his career. Romano has also said that River Plate are not even an option for the South American, despite claims that they were one of the favorites for his signature. Gary Neville says Manchester United's player should be ashamed. Man United dropped more points in the race for the top four, this time at home to Southampton. Southampton boss was quoted by Talk Sport. He said, It's not a big secret that when they lose the ball, the reverse gears are not the best from everyone. Former defender Gary Neville reacted to Ralph's comments and she suggests United's players should feel ashamed during the criticism. Ferdinand posts on Twitter, Imagine being a Man United player and having a respected opposition manager says that about you. Well, we are now three games without a win, which includes a cup exit. A top four spot look a lot less likely after this crucial drop points in the last two league matches. We have another two game against Brighton on Thursday before Leeds United away on Sunday. Barcelona are leading the race of Frank Kessier. According to the Spanish publication Marca, Barcelona are leading the race to secure the signature of AC Milan midfielder Frank Kessier amidst interest from Man United. Currently in the final few months of his contract at the San Siro, the Ivorian appears set to leave the club on a free next summer. Tottenham Hotspur are set to be also in the mix. The Serie A star has racked up to 23 appearances this season having scored six goals while assisting once in the process. Do you think that uh, we should have signed Kessier or we have to just give up from this transfer deal? What do you think? Tell me in the comments. Man United to target Leicester City midfielder next season. United are looking to sign Yuri Tielemans next summer. The 24-year-old's contract expires in June 2023, and he's reportedly looking to move to a club with loftier ambitions, as per Belgian outlet head. Used blood. Leicester are willing to reduce his asking price to £35 million, which would represent a bargain for a player of his quality. The Red Devil may, fi may might face stiff competition from Arsenal, who are another club showing great interest in the Belgian. Sky Sport claimed that Liverpool are also in the mix for the Belgian. Man United considering Alexander Isaac in striker search. Man United are reportedly considering a move for Real Sociedad striker Alexander Isaac as Ragnik targets a new striker in the summer. The Daily Me Mail have suggested United are considering Isaac who has scored 8 goals in 27 games for Sociedad this season. The 22-year-old was heavily linked with a move to Arsenal during the January transfer window, although the Gunners are said to have been reluctant to part with the £78 million needed to meet his release clause. Inter Milan's Lautaro Martinez and Bayer Leverkusen's Patrick Chick are also said to be alternative targets. 
Man United add Patrick Chick to striker shortlist. The Daily Mail claims that Chick, who rose to prominence with five goals for Czech Republic at Euro 2020, is under consideration by all travels chiefs. The 26 year old has enjoyed a stellar Bundesliga campaign with Leverkusen, racking up 18 goals in as many top fly appearances to sit second in the top scorer's charts behind Robert Lewandowski. Arsenal, Tottenham Hotspur, Manchester City and Barcelona have previously been credited with an interest in Czech, who recently played down talk of a possible move to the Premier League. The former Roma man has registered a total of 31 goals in 58 games for Leverkusen since arriving in 2020 and is tied down to the Bundesliga side until 2025. Those were all the news for today. I really hope that you enjoyed it and I really hope if you like the new way of representing the daily news because I got suspended from YouTube for um, you know uh, well don't forget to like and subscribe I'll be uploading the daily news every day and I really appreciate your support thank you guys